do you want me to sure. hit it? That'd be great. Okay. So I, I know we've talked about a lot more things, but I think I'll probably just talk to a couple major ones. Um, I think the highest priority for us as a board are A3, A5, B1, C1, C2, D7, D12, and E2 and E3. I think um, in general we we understand that they're in a constrained site, that they're coming in with a smaller program, but the biggest challenge is going to be how to address the zoning transition to the east of the property. With that, we would encourage them to explore options that push the building towards the south property line in favor of a greater buffer on the east side that some use of trees or other kinds of screening issues would be encouraged in that area to deal with the privacy concerns to the single family houses to the east. That said, we're not, we're not asking for grand gestures. We think they're heading that way. We're just encouraging them to continue to head that way. Um, I think we all appreciate the lantern concept. Um, if they're going to come forward with that concept, we encourage them to fully embrace it and try to get circulation spaces into the lanterns mm -hmm. so that they can really fully execute what they came with. Do you feel that they're heading a solid direction? Do it. Get across the coal line with it. <coughs> um, retail, um, we acknowledge the neighbor's um, concern that they get a true mixed-use building that's beyond just this program they get something that becomes an asset to the neighborhood. I think the minimum amount of space we would like to see is about what they have in, say, Scheme A. And we know that we're pushing in uh, some portion of the building use into that area. Um, obviously, we would grant the departure for what we as a board are causing. With the, uh, yeah. We're creating a worse situation for them in terms of the code than what they came to us with. So we would be obviously willing to uh, grant that departure because that's something that's getting driven off our motivation as opposed to theirs. Um, You're talking about parking? Um, <coughs> I think parking, they're doing it from the right location, meaning from the alley. And I think we'll leave it up to them whether they want to do it enclosed or like a single trunk. But we absolutely do not want to see covered, exposed stalls facing the alley that parking needs to be contained and controlled. And that's their responsibility, I think, in terms of D7 for safety, that at this location, we do not want to see unenclosed, unsecured parking. Whether it's accurate, tucked in the northeast corner of the site, or below grade, totally up to them, based on their expense and their performa and their final design. Um, Loading and alley improvements, the board strongly encourages full alley improvements. We know it's not our purview, but given what the neighborhood's being asked to take, uh, we would encourage the DPD to work with SDOT and the applicant to do whatever they can to improve the condition on the alley. That's purely a suggestion on our part, and we have no purview over it, but we will concur with the neighbor's request. We think for what the immediate neighbors are taking on, that's kind of a pretty minimal ask. Um, safety and security is um, past B1, all, I think our next top concern. Um, not having units at ground level, having the 24-hour management, eyes on the street, um, taking responsibility for their own program and trying to become an asset to the neighborhood as opposed to potential detriment. I think are all concerns of the board. But, am I missing anything major? Oh, uh, infiltration gardens. Landscaping. Landscaping. <laughs> we want to see full landscape plans. We will not grant green factor departures because we as a board don't grant <laughs> green factor departures unless you're in a low rise zone. Um, but I'd like to see maybe um, using landscaping to activate the space around the tree if it were possible. Just 
you know, the current description shows that it, it could be planted, but doesn't really enhance, it doesn't really address the concerns that that is just a darker space that is somewhat hidden from view. Well, you can occupy space beneath the tree. And I think if they can get some kind of permeable paving over some yeah. percentage of the roots so that you're actually getting open space that's inhabitable and usable by the residents. Smoking garden. That's right. You know, that's what it did. Knowing the people from SMR, yeah. I know that actually comes up in their projects. Uh, yeah. so, okay, with that. Okay. Good luck, guys. We've got a challenging site, but hopefully we didn't mess up your lives too bad. <laughs>